Hello. Oh, hello. My name is Adam Smith. I'm calling from NobelPrize.org, the website of the Nobel Prize in Stockholm. Yes. Uh, uh, we, where are Where are you now? I'm in the bus to the, going to the airport. Oh, I see. Okay. In Spain. I'm <laughs> in Spain. May May I just ask you, how did you hear the news of the prize? Oh, completely by chance, because just leaving my hotel, I connect myself to the computer, and I, I, I received the, the news from that uh, about one hour ago. A very nice, very nice connection. Very nice surprise. <laughs> So yeah, I have some difficulties because I'm in a bus in Spain and the, the quality of the telephone is very bad. But anyway, you've made it to the airport at least. It must be a bit frustrating to be away from home when it happens. Yes, it's a little bit more complicated. <laughs> and uh, okay, but I will be with colleagues in Madrid and in... Uh, in different place for uh, given some discussion on exoplanet so it's okay it's a good it's a good uh, That's moment good. with colleagues of course many celebrations to come and how yes, i hope so <laughs> <laughs> do you recall the excitement of the moment when you saw the first exoplanet 24 years ago yes i believe you know this is not a discovery made at one special moment because you, you need to accumulate a lot of measurements during several months, and it's only after that you have some hints that maybe you have something interesting. Because due to the lot of false announcements be, made before, I have decided to wait for the next season to repeat the measurement to be absolutely sure. The, the, the problem was not the quality of the measurement, but was... Uh, the interpretation of what we are, we are discovering. Mm. So we wait 95, in the mid, middle of 95, the second season, and everything was fine. The same period, the same amplitude, the same phase. So with DJ, we said, okay, no, we are sure this is an extraterrestrial planet. Right. It was a great moment. It's so unexpected that it, it, it orbits in just four days. Such, yes. a, such strangeness. It must have taken great courage to believe in your data. Apart from the confirmation that extraterrestrial exist, this was maybe the most important uh, aspect of this discovery, the discovery of the orbital migration, so that if planets are formed at some distance of the star, then after the interaction between the planet and the dis accretion disk create a spiraling or more migration of the of the young planet towards the star, and this was a major ingredient of the scenario of planetary formation. And today, all all scenario have to include this kind of phenomena. And that's a, that's the point, isn't it? That the discovery of all these exoplanets over four thousand now teaches us a great deal about the way the that so that solar systems form, and indeed even about our own Earth. Yes, yes, sure. In fact, this is a different... So we are living in a planetary system, so all the planets of the own solar system belong to the same kind of scenario. Yeah, because there's often a great focus on the search for life, but we can learn a lot more than just whether there's life out there by looking. Scientists are interested in the formation of planetary systems and so on. But for most, the majority of people, what is behind is the question of life. At the present time, this is the, the most exciting question we have facing us. And for the next generation, I don't know how many years we will need for that, but this is an extremely important question for, for layman. And when, when do you think we might be ready to see the first signs of life if they're there? It's the problem to, of the detection of biosignature. We know how to do it, but it's so difficult, technically so difficult. I believe maybe 10 years or more, I don't know exactly, but uh, I, I don't expect to have an answer next year. <laughs> A Greek philosopher was discussing the plurality of, wor of worlds and the possibility to have some of them inhabited. So 2,000 years ago, so I believe we can wait 20 years more. Well said, yes. We look forward very much indeed to welcoming you to Stockholm in December.
what I have to say. Tak. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Precis. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, thank you. Congratulations. Bye-bye.